Behind me, we have two of the best home battery systems in the world. But which do you want in your house? Well, in this video, we're going to work that out in under seven minutes. On the left, we have the American Tesla Powerwall 3. Spirit Energy actually installed the first Powerwall 3 in the UK back in 2024, and we've won multiple awards from Tesla for our work installing this technology. On the right, we have the Chinese SIG Energy SIG install. This is the new kid on the block, and there's a lot to shout about. There are a lot of new home battery systems being released, and most of them are nothing special. They just sort of copy each other without much innovation. SIG Energy, however, is different. Their teams really thought about the design of this battery system, and they've given Tesla some proper competition. So has SIG Energy knocked Tesla off the pedestal? Well, let's work that out. To start with, Powell 3 has a battery capacity of 15 kilowatt hours. 13.5 kilowatt hours of that is actually usable. Powerwall only comes in these 13.5 kilowatt hour increments. You can't get it in any other size. It's very scalable and Tesla also supplies something called a DC expansion pack, which is pretty much raw storage without any of the electrical gubbins in the top. You can have up to three expansions per Powerwall 3 and you can have up to four Powerwall 3s on one supply meaning that you can scale up to 12 units, which gives you 216 kilowatt hours of storage. SIG and store works a bit differently. The SIG and store is a modular battery system where the inverter sits on top and the battery stack below. Here you can see one inverter or energy controller and then one battery module. You can have up to six batteries in one stack. Currently, SIG Energy make a 9 kilowatt hour as well as a 6 kilowatt hour battery unit, and they can be mixed and matched so that you can get the perfect battery size for your home. This really means that, like Tesla, with one stack you can have up to 54 kilowatt hours of storage. On a single phase supply, you can have up to 5 SIG and store stacks, giving you 270 kilowatt hours of total storage capacity. One key advantage to SIG Energy is that the system is designed to be completely future proof. Until recently, SIG Energy were making smaller 8 kilowatt hour batteries, but they were the same size as these 9 kilowatt hour units, which means that anyone that has a system with 8 kilowatt hour units can still add the new 9 kilowatt hour units onto their system. Both systems use hybrid inverters, meaning the one inverter can handle both the solar panels and the battery storage. Now, when Powell 3 came out, it really revolutionized the UK battery market. It's an 11.04 kilowatt inverter that can be downrated to any of the settings that you can see on screen now, if you get restricted by the DNO. The Powell 3 has three solar MPPTs that can handle up to 20 kilowatts of DC input. The SIG Energy inverter works very differently. SIG Energy provides a range of inverters from 3 kilowatts up to 12 kilowatts. The inverter sits on the top of a stack and you can choose the inverter that is best suited to your system or your DNO restriction. The low end inverters can handle two solar strings and the higher end of the range can handle four solar strings. Each inverter can handle twice its rating in terms of solar input. So the 12 kilowatt inverter can handle up to 24 kilowatts of solar. A big advantage to Powerwall 3 is that if your DNO rating is limited and then later improves, you don't need to change the hardware to take advantage of it, like you would need to with the SIG Energy. So if you get restricted by the DNO, you should definitely consider Powerwall 3. Powerwall 3's battery can discharge at up to 11.04 kilowatts. However, it can only charge at a rate of 5 kilowatts. If you have any expansion packs, then the charge rating increases to 8 kilowatts, but it doesn't scale beyond that. The SIG Energy can charge and discharge at half the rated capacity of the battery. So if you have an 18 kilowatt hour battery, then it can only charge and discharge at 9 kilowatt hours. If you have the 12 kilowatt inverter, then the system will still only charge and discharge at 9 kilowatt hours. So you need to be sensible with how you size the SIG Energy system. Next, let's talk about power cut protection. Now, both systems can be installed without this. However, if you would like power cut protection, then additional hardware is required. For Power 3, you need something called the Tesla Gateway, and for SIG Energy, you need the Sigen Gateway. Both systems can keep a full single-phase supply running in a power cut. SIG Energy can also back up three-phase supplies, which is something that the Tesla can't yet do, but Tesla are working on releasing a system that does three-phase backup. On installation, the property's incoming supply is wired through the gateway, and then if the grid goes down, the gateway can cut the supply to and from the grid and island the house, meaning that the battery and the solar can keep the house running. Both systems come with their own apps, which cover the basics very well and are very straightforward to use. 
They're not buggy or laggy and they allow you to see the solar generation, battery status, EV charging, grid usage and household consumption all at a glance. The Tesla app updates live, however the Sig Energy app refreshes roughly every 10 seconds. Both will show what you've imported from or exported to the grid, so it's easy to understand where your energy is going and how much you're saving on your bills. Both apps will let you set up your tariff easily and control how much of the battery is left in reserve for a power cut. Tesla's app also lets you activate a feature called Stormwatch, which anticipates power cuts. Both systems have advanced algorithms which forecast the house's electricity usage and the coming day's solar generation, and then will charge and discharge the battery accordingly with the aim of making you as much money as possible. Sig Energy also has an AI which can supposedly boost savings, although you do have to surrender control of the battery to the AI unless you turn the feature off. It's not yet clear how much of a difference the Sig Energy AI actually makes to your savings. Something critical to battery systems is thermal management, because when batteries get colder than 5 degrees Celsius, they quickly start to become less efficient and the usable capacity goes down until the battery warms back up again. This can be a real problem if your battery is outside and if you're relying on charging it off-peak throughout the winter. Powell 3 uses Tesla's industry-leading active thermal management system and can preheat or pre-cool the battery based on the temperature and weather forecasts to keep the cells within its preferred operating range. Sig and Store also has thermal control in the form of heat packs, which aim to hold the cells around 10 to 15 degrees Celsius so they don't get less efficient in cold British weather. The Sig Energy system can't cool the battery down in warm weather. So a few cool features about the battery systems. Tesla Power 3 is actually flood resistant up to two feet as a result of the battery section being laser welded. The Sig Energy system has a light down the side which can be set to whatever color you want or can be set to flash different colors. Something cool about Powerwall is that Tesla is looking to become an electricity provider in the UK. When this happens, hopefully in the next few years and they've already applied, Powerwall owners will get a benefit and an increased saving as a result. Each SIG Energy battery module has five fire safety features built into it, including a last resort fire extinguishing system. The SIG Energy can also be used completely without any sort of grid connection, which the Tesla can't be. And the SIG Energy has a screen which shows the status of the battery. I'm not gonna talk about warranty or price in this video, and if you wanna find out about those factors, then I recommend watching the full length video or getting in touch with Spirit Energy or your local solar specialist. What I will say is that we find that the SIG Energy is about 5% more expensive for an equivalent system, so they're pretty evenly priced. Thanks for watching, I hope this quick comparison was helpful, and if you're looking at either of these systems, please do get in touch with Spirit Energy, and we can help you make the decision, as well as provide a quote for solar and battery storage for your home. Please do check out our other videos to learn about all things solar and battery storage in the UK, and remember to like and subscribe.